I'm uh, calling this uh, video Mambas and Bananas. Odd title, but listen to why this is the case. These are true tales of my African adventures. May this inspire you, deter you, caution you, and above all, entertain you. Uh, in my 21st year, whilst I was doing my military training, uh, we were stationed on a plateau. This is in a very wild part of the northern Transvaal, as it was called then. And uh, it was near the Botswana border. We, in fact, had a repeater station there, a radar station, and we were watching to see if there were MiGs that the communist Russians would fly into our territory from north of our borders, because we were in a sort of a semi-war state at the time. Um, anyway, what I would do some lunch times, because it was so wild, I would take a walk into the wilderness, into the bush, and uh, one of my favorite pastimes was to feed these crag and plated lizards, and there were some very beautiful ones, uh, wonderful colors, feed them on bits of fruit. It was uh, a very hot part of the country and they loved a bit of moist fruit and uh, banana was one of their favorite in fact. So on this day I uh, went off, it was lunchtime, went through the security gate, um, the guard let me out as he always did and I started peeling the banana. When I got to the place where I usually fed the lizards, I started slowing down so that I could just see how many lizards were waiting for me because at this stage they used to wait. And um, whilst I was still peeling and walking, I noticed something near the boulder which was darkish in the long grass, couldn't quite make it out. And as I got up to it, it was the tail end of a very large black mamba, which was hunting. It was a cloudy day. They hunt on cloudy days right throughout the day. There he was, and he was with head around one side of the boulder and tail where I was standing. So in my excitement, uh, I dropped the banana. And of course, as uh, luck would have it, the uh, banana fell on the mamba, which then took off at high speed with me after it down the slope. Now, that slope ended in a cliff. We were on a plateau and then there was this slope all around and then the cliff face and it was a very high cliff, hundreds and hundreds of feet. The mamba suddenly stopped, turned around and came back towards me and I put on brakes and slid down past the mamba. The mamba went up while I was sliding down, grabbed hold of a tree and realized that the mamba was coming up because it knew the cliff was there. I had forgotten in my excitement once again. And I held on to the tree and didn't go over the cliff. Well, had the mamba and I gone off the cliff, that would have been the end of both of us. Well, I ran back up chasing the mamba and it went straight back to the boulder and into an enormous cavernous ant bear hole. I arrived at the boulder and nonetheless, although the mamba had disappeared down this cavernous ant bear hole. I fell flat on my belly and looked up the hole to see if there was any chance of retrieving it. Now, um, I must tell you, my eyes took a few minutes to acclimatize because it was dark in the hole. And as soon as I could see, I got the shock of my life. You have absolutely no idea what it's like. I was staring at this mamba. It was six feet away from me, looped up against the back of the hole, and it was panicking. Mambas are very nervous snakes, mouth open, and it was in a threatening pose, and I knew any second it was going to come at me, and I was going to get bitten in the face. I could not move out of the way in time. It was the most terrifying position to be in, and the most helpless feeling you could ever imagine. Anyway, I did the only thing I could do, which is thrust my face into the sand uh, like an ostrich and just remain absolutely frozen to the spot. 
a second or two later, I felt the mamba moving over my shoulder at speed. And that too was terrifying because I thought he might bite me at any place on my body. But obviously he was so intent on escaping that he gave biting a miss. I uh, took a few minutes to stand up, or probably a few seconds anyway, it seemed like an eternity and when I stood up I shuddered and uh, I did catch that mamba a little while later and I will tell you what happened with that snake in another story. That snake caused me more trouble than I can ever imagine it was going to do.